Hello, today we are going to do a test with uh, the two motors and two controllers running at 500 amps. Uh, the motors are rated 150 kilowatt each and the inverters around 200 kilowatt, maybe 250. Cooling is quite good, uh, so yeah, we can push to 500 amps. Uh, we will see. Uh, the water. We have a water cooling system, yeah, from there. It splits, half goes to the inverter and then exits the second inverter as well, goes to output and then uh, the path for the water is going to cool the first engine motor yeah, and the second one and then goes out. Uh, the torque sensor is reading the torque and the speed. We have a display for that here. The signal from the torque sensor as well goes power analyzer so the power analyzer here it can compute the the torque and the speed and then multiply I input the equations you can have a menu you can have a equation input from the menu or from the PC um, you can input the equations of the torque times uh, speed uh, divided by 9.55 and then get the mechanical shaft output then you have the current sensors and uh, on the faces and then current sensor on the DC bus so we can see the efficiency in real time of the generator and then efficiency in real time on the controller as well. Uh, also we have a, a, an oscillo isolated channel oscilloscope to visualize the DC bus and the commutation from the IGBT so collector emitters, emitter is connected to this one and then uh, DC bus on the other one to see the ripple uh, also we have a scope corder to record additional signals like DC bus to see if there is a spike event or something like this you can have all, everything recorded you can record 16 channels or all isolated I have current probes which are not yet attached uh, not at the moment so, yeah, let's do a test. Also, a 400 volt battery pack. We can visualize the current of the battery here. Uh, on the PC, we are running two instances. So, one instance is looking at the first uh, controller, the second instance is looking at the second controller. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's turn on the water that's for the motor side that's for the controller side okay not not maximum you don't need maximum the efficiency recorded uh, on these motors it was 98 percent they are made a special order for somebody carbon fiber uh, sleeve so it's very very light for the output power it gives so it, it can give continuously about 125 kilowatt maybe 150 depending on the liquid cooling and the flow controllers can also deliver around uh, 500 amps peak uh, continuously basically and then uh, like 380 RMS at uh, 700 volts the DC bus let's do a test I prepare here the first one so we can uh, start play we give some speed this this one is running in uh, motor mode that one is generator so this one is spinning the other one will break we have the potentiometer so we can regulate how much current we want to have we can look at the battery so we start loading we can go all the way to the maximum Five hundred amps. Three hundred twenty-nine, twenty-six newton meters. Five hundred three amps. We check the current. Three hundred sixty-nine RMS. Yeah. So I reduce the current now. Stop. 
the controller temperature 40 degrees cooling down fast because I have a good cooling and the motor temperature 61 58 the generator on the other side yeah this is the setup using uh, VESC software uh, the controllers can both run uh, in uh, sensorless mode or uh, resolver mode this motor has a resolver in the back so it can accept the resolver signals or a custom encoder I have here a custom encoder so that's nice uh, the inputs are um, combust adapter and then USB for firmware update and then uh, uh, the two controllers are the, on the same DC bus what you can see there is the battery voltage that comes in so I'm adding the difference in efficiency from the battery because you need to have a supply yeah controllers yeah current sensors are, are uh, getting hot as well yeah, so that's my setup.